Hi, happy Halloween. Today I want to do something a little bit different. I need to get my pumpkins carved and I thought I'll just do kind of a chatty video, talk a little bit about some Halloween related things while I'm getting my pumpkins carved. So come along with me and enjoy. So first things first, I'm carving two pumpkins this year because my husband isn't home. So I'm carving one for him and I'm gonna have the big one. I always get the big pumpkin. Were you a big pumpkin or a small pumpkin person when you were growing up? Because I always had to have the biggest pumpkin. So I have a scoop, I have a bowl that's going to be for seeds, and I have a bowl that's going to be for pumpkin guts. And I put some plastic down on the floor so I'm not going to get stuff everywhere. Let's get started. Something I wanted to talk about for this video is superstitions. Because they kind of have always interested me. I'm not exactly a superstitious person, but I do follow a lot of superstitions. It's kind of the same thing for me as like, I don't really believe in ghosts. Not in like a literal ghost exist type of sense. Yeah, I fully believe people where their like experience has been haunted. Like I never disbelieve someone who's telling me about their experience with ghosts, but I don't believe in them in like the literal sense. Part of that is the first time I had a panic attack where someone was able to tell me that it was a panic attack, like somebody <laughs> told me what it was that I was experiencing. I stopped and thought about it and looked back and realized that there were a lot of times in my childhood where there'd just be this sudden like wave of fear and it was usually like oh that, like I feel like there's something in the hallway and I can't go down the hallway and like this absolute panic <laughs> it was a panic attack I didn't recognize it as that I th was sort of into believing that what I was feeling was that the house was haunted or something and that there were ghosts and that I was feeling the presence of a ghost and like that that was what was keeping me out. But then later when I realized it was a panic attack, it does kind of reduce the belief in ghosts, I guess. I mean, that is like a real entity. Like I don't believe people die and then ghosts exist at all. But I also, I'm an atheist. Nobody knew that already. I've been pretty open about the fact that I just don't believe in an afterlife or in a god. I don't believe that there is something after death. Anyway, that got really far away from Halloween. <laughs> I was going to be talking about hauntings. Oh man, and I want to talk about superstitions too. So superstitions, things that like I buy into when someone like jinxes something. I believe totally in jinxes and like knocking on wood to like stop the jinx. I do it every time. I got my whole workplace doing the knocking on wood. They didn't even know what that was before I started going there. I haven't even been there a year and now everybody knocks on wood for everything. But I like that one. That one is supposed to be like the sound of knocking on wood frightens away the bad spirits. I love, I don't know why, I really like that one. Holding your breath through a tunnel to make a wish. I think that one's really good. I've just always done that one too. I don't know, it's not like I fully, it's like I enjoy them. It's sort of the way that I enjoy holidays. Like here I am carving a pumpkin for Halloween, but there's no religious background to it for me. I just really enjoy seeing kids dressed up and trick-or-treat costumes and like with Christmas I really enjoy people having lights on their houses and I enjoy kind of the spirit of gift giving and I enjoy everyone being cozy together and all of that and I love the stories of Santa Claus like I think that's all really cute and really heartwarming and lovely I buy in to all of that in that sense and that I really like it like I love scary movies and I love hearing people's experiences with ghosts you love this I'm just like digging in with my hands this is just how I do it Plus it's the easiest way to get the seeds out. Let's go back to talking about superstitions. Where are some other, where are some interesting superstitions? Don't walk under an open ladder, which that one's just a safety thing. <laughs> a lot of superstitions come from kind of safety things and some of them are silly and some of them are really smart. Like that one, walking under an open ladder, good way to get hit by a ladder <laughs> or hit by something or someone up on the ladder, knock a ladder over. A lot of problems with that one. The black cats are bad luck. That does, that's not true. I think this pumpkin is done being gutted. I'm gonna gut the other one. Let me wash my hands. And I made that hole way too small. Oh well. I can do it. I have thin wrists. I don't know. I've talked to people about 
hauntings. And I've known people who have been in places that were haunted who have just like interacted with spirits in some way. I find that so interesting. I love their stories. Oh wait, I'm not sure you can have pumpkin. I'm just trying to find an idea to work with. Okay. Got my drawing done. Time to carve. Anyway, I was talking about things, wasn't I? It's been so long since I've trick-or-treated, because I'm old. I have been too old to trick-or-treat for a long time now. And for people who are like, no, you're never too old to trick-or-treat, like, you are. Trick-or-treating is fun because you're a kid, and it's the one night of the year you kind of get to run around the neighborhood with your friends, you get to be dressed up. Like, it's very much a child thing that adults haven't been able to give up and have kind of taken over. It belongs to the kids, like, it should be fun for them. So, no, I don't go trick-or-treating. I like dressing up, although I don't have a costume for this year. I love trick-or-treaters coming. I love seeing all the little kids' costumes. Oh, I put my bowl way over there. I need to have it over here. That is my favorite thing, is answering the door and having all the little trick-or-treaters come up and they're cute little costumes, and you've got all these Elsas, and you've got, oh wait, I can't see that. You've got like 12 Elsas, and you've got like 12 Spider-Mans. I love it, I love giving candy to kids, which sounds super creepy, but like, just on Halloween, I like them coming over. I love giving out candy, I always buy the big Costco bags. Here in this neighborhood, nobody ever comes to visit me, so I end up eating all the Costco candy all by myself. That's fine too. <laughs> I'm an adult, I can have an entire Costco bag of candy if I want it. I do think Halloween will probably be even more fun again once I've got kids of my own to dress up, but for now, I just like doing all of, all of the Halloween things. I don't know, I just like doing all the crafty stuff that goes with holidays. eyebrows are not even same I am so close to done I am flying through this I'm doing a great job here for the big reveal. Okay. It's kind of a dragon. Or dragon's what I was going for. It'll be better when there's a candle in it. So there's mine. Now I've got to do Josh's. It's so what he wants. I'm not gonna do all the details because I'm not that fancy. He just wants it to be like this shape because he's working for National Park Service. Far too easy. So then, the reveal for his pumpkin would be this. Oh look, I made a beautiful setup. Thanks for watching. I'm posting this video on Halloween. That means that All Hallows Day, November the 1st, is going to be the beginning of NaNoWriMo. So I'm not really going to be posting. I don't have any plans for anything. But I hope you and your loved ones are all having a happy Halloween. I hope you carved some pumpkins. I hope you eating some candy. If you haven't had any candy yet, come over to my house. I have plenty. I have a Costco bag and I shouldn't be eating all of it because I'm trying to be on a diet. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really eating less candy, let's be honest. I'm pretending I'm eating less candy. But this bowl here, this is gonna be my Halloween's Day meal. 
I'm gonna turn the pumpkin seeds into delicious pumpkin goodness. I'm gonna put these out on my porch for other people to enjoy. And I will talk to you again soon. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye. You gotta see my nails before I destroy them all. My Halloween nails. Yeah. Enjoy the kitten as he tries to ruin everything. I tried so hard this morning to wear this guy out and it wasn't happening. <laughs>